if getting a DUI without having any substance in you was ever possible, I would have done it today. That's how tired I was. You can't get a ticket for driving while falling asleep. So I wasn't can, falling asleep. I, I, I think you can. You can. I, I know you can. I know someone who's gotten a ticket. I think I was probably driving worse today than I would have if I was like blowing like a .08. <laughs> wow. That's how tired I was. How long do you think you slept for? Last night? Yeah. I slept from 11 to about 5.30. That's not enough time. So about six and a half hours <laughs> after 40 time. hours of no sleep. I felt I don't remember exactly when I fell asleep because I surpassed the delirious stage. We hit a couple delirious stages. I, I, I no, I'm talking like the, I don't. I think I was like legitimately hallucinating a little bit. <laughs> I cried a little bit after because I was so overwhelmed with emotion. The way I put it best was, our eyes are heavy and our hearts are full, and yeah. I think that's the best way yeah. to put this podcast. Let's uh, let's cue the intro. I, I took the plunge. And uh, had the time of my life. guys that was too enthusiastic that had, i'm really fucking tired that had way more oomph to it than i thought you were ever gonna come out with for this Probably yeah man no i've been uh i had a good day at work uh today's a day joining me as always is riley t say what's up dude um i think we need to readjust this to what joining me as always my husband my mm. husband joining me as always. riley m <laughs> <laughs> it's actually no <laughs> riley M hyphen T. <laughs> or is it TM? <laughs> Trademarked. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to start adding the TM thing to all of my social medias because I'll be Trudel dash Marku, but they won't know what it's for. They'll be like, oh, that guy's name's Trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't gathered it from uh, from the voice on the other mic already, our, our resident dungeon master. That's what I'm here for. Black Taylor. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, y'all boys? So, oh, ta- Taylor, sad. you've gotten a following now as well from uh, the live stream, like active listeners. Oh, shit, for real? They've you they've been... labeled you BLT. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's going? What's the L stand for? Black. It's the L in black. <laughs> with it. I'm, so yeah, I'm with, with it. it. I fuck with it. I'm I'm with like it. BLT. What's up? Yeah, it's a BLT. Black oh, Taylor's in house. <laughs> the Dungeon Master Supreme. That's I'm pretty sad. Good. You're no longer gonna be referred to as the guy who was choking on chicken wings at the live show. No, that yeah, that's not it. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. You're just now you're BLT. Just BLT. BLT. <laughs> Dude, you you just became a staple of the podcast. You know what's crazy? I think at work now I'm gonna change my badge name from RN to just Taylor Jackson BLT. I mean, yeah. it works, that works out better, right? TJBLT. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I'll be your BLT today. Yeah, you're black. <laughs> you're black Taylor for the day. It's a good idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Taylor joined us last night in the overnight shift. Wait, can we? Yeah, let's give some background. <laughs> if you made a team with my brother, my brother could be like, "I'll be your white Taylor today." Oh my god! WMT. WMT. Oh wait, it would be WHT. W-L- WHT. <laughs> That's incredible. You got BLT and YHT. What's up? We out here. What, we out here. We out here. <laughs> um, we're here. We just we. We wrapped up the 24-hour live stream, God and did. this whole episode is just going to be a recap, really. Um, me and Hunter, you worked, we did it. You worked like <laughs> seven hours job. today. I worked nine. I don't know if Taylor worked today. Hell no. Yeah, I, I went off. to work today. I wasn't in my best shape. We had it was Luckily, it's like work party day. Ah, gotcha. Like yeah. it's holiday season, work party. We had a little Yankee swap that That's I forgot nice. about because I was in here for <laughs> 30 did you, hours Did you straight. get something out of your desk? And you're like, it's a granola bar. <laughs> I had a used Applebee's gift card in my wallet and, and some to- loose Tootsie Rolls on my desk that I then stapled Post-it notes together to make an envelope and put them in there. Wow. And then I scotch taped it together. So That's pretty fucking impressive. Thank really you. Is. Um I don't know th- that I told him bear witness like just so you guys know this gift could be have a value of like a buck 86 from 5 to 25 whole Exactly dollars. it was literally that I was like I have no idea what's on that Applebee's card <laughs> Luckily it was a white elephant though so I didn't feel as bad a white elephant uh, Yankee swap is you bring oh, something you see from color, around man. your house, like Got something it. you don't use, so it's usually like secondhand gifts. No one goes out and buys like gift cards and stuff. I'm sad that no one heard my joke. <laughs> I went, I heard why it. you got to see color, man? 
Yeah. Not like anyone heard that. Um, <laughs> Hunter, hit him with those accolades, boy. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm honestly too tired to remember half of them, so I'm just going to say. Let's try. I'm going to do a classic, just uh, number one. Potato Podcast, your fourth favorite host on the third East favorite. Coast. Adam Simmons is a fuck boy who didn't donate. We 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 surpassed him. No, but Bobby, that's fine. He's he's still number two. So is Adam number four? If we're yep. number two and three. Yeah, yo lit. Yep. <laughs> Wait, that math doesn't add it's, up. But let's go on. Third up. favorite yep. host on the East Coast, and uh, the number one hockey podcast south of the border. We're just running it back. Episode uh, well, one. And, and we, uh, I'll add another one. Just the number one gay married podcast. Yep. Well, we're not gay the gay marriage. marriage. We're the gay married podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now. No, I said it right then. Yep. You're so you're correct. So um, who, who married you guys yesterday? Adam, Adam Simmons, Simmons. FaceTimed in. So Dave, we had we had an unfortunate situation with just Dave where he Absolutely. couldn't be around for most of the stream. Mm-hmm. He was going to be our ordained minister. To be fair, I didn't think we were going to fucking need him. Yeah. Don't. Okay. But yeah. He neither did I. I was like, was, oh. dude. Well, I thought we were just fucking memeing on people. Yeah. Yeah, they, they really wanted it, man. They wanted the marriage. We'll get to the marriage because that was really the end of the stream. But Adam Simmons FaceTimed in. He had a beautiful ceremony for us. Absolutely gorgeous. A wordsmith. And are we married under the, the Church of Zenu? Is that what is it that, is? Uh, no, the Church of Scientology. Yeah, is that Zenu? He said, like, by all that's holy and in the name of Zenu. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty happy that he knew. Like, he, he was fucking right on the same wavelength as me. Wow. Dude fucking nailed it. We're tired, guys. This is going to be a short one. I think I've slept 11 hours in three whole days. Yeah. Yeah, we were up 40 hours straight because we both had to be up around 6, 7 on Saturday. Yeah. We didn't get to nap beforehand. I did zero caffeine. I think you did too. No, I had one medium coffee from Dunkin's. Okay, I did zero caffeine the entire stream. That's pretty fucking impressive. When I showed up, you already looked tired. Your eyes were already red from being tired. From uh oh, from, just from the before day. we started. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing that people kept saying to me, like, "Do you want a coffee?" I was like, uh, "Decaf." And they're like, "You love coffee, though." And I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm not doing it. Like, I can't do it." I had a family party the day before, and they were all like, "You're not drinking coffee or alcohol right now." And I was like, "No, I can't do it. Like, I got to stay up on my game for tonight." Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it worked. I think it helped because I never hit a crash. We had a couple. We had a couple delirium moments, but I had a f- an additional few moments. That you had one think... added that wasn't your fault. The yeah. chip, the chip hours it weren't was your like, fault. Do you say the chip hours? Yeah, the chip chronicles <laughs> weren't my fault. Um, yeah, that was a ru- that was probably like a full three hours where I literally got a headache. Uh, I couldn't stop at that. Like immediately after I ate, uh, what is it? The world's hottest tortilla chip. It's the one chip challenge. It's a Carolina Reaper chip. So I ate half, and first, like... It comes in a coffin. Really? I to got, give you reference of how I, it is. I don't remember if I showed them to you. I think I showed them to Will, and I don't remember who else. It might have been you. I thought you were the other person, but I had blisters on the sides of my tongue. You showed me that. That's disgusting. So I had blisters on my tongue immediately following. About 20, 25 minutes later, I had, like, cold shivers, which I wasn't all that cold, it was just like I I didn't feel right. Uh, then the pain came for about fifteen minutes. I was upstairs like washing my tongue off on the water. This Ooh. motherfucker over here drank all the milk when he ate the buffalo <laughs> wild wings. So you had no more milk? Uh, no, there was a little bit left, but he left it out for uh, approximately oh, yeah. six like hours, six seven hours, hours twelve eight, hours. Yeah, twelve hours. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was uh, that was a no for me, dog. Damn. And uh, then it was just followed by like. A, an hour and a half, two hours of just not feeling good because it hurt my stomach. Mm-hmm. Then I went upstairs, took a regular shit, mm. and I was like, there's still something up there. I don't know what it is. And then came the most horrific pain I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> not solid. I looked in the toilet bowl after. It looked like yellow mucus. Mm. I think, like, I'm 99% sure I shit out pure stomach acid. Your body was trying to get rid of whatever was in your stomach. It legit, because I, I don't know if I said this to you. I think I did. I said I was hungry and I just felt empty. Yeah. Like there was legitimately nothing in my body because my bu- my body was flushing everything out. Oh, I believe it. That's, that's, I mean, that's a twice us to you shit, man. That's why you poop so much. Dude, I, I so, felt like shit until about 1 p.m. today. So let's bring it back to the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Mm-hmm. There was. Let's go to a week ago. Yeah. 
Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta so go, I was go. exhausted already because every day, pretty much, like this has been stressing me the fuck out. It was one of those excited stresses, like a, a nervous excitement. I wasn't nervous or. I'm not even going to say excited because I went on like a five, six day bender after classes ended. You did. It was pretty cool, but yeah. go on. Um, it was, I was nervously excited. I was really excited to do this. It's, it's been something I've wanted to do because I've followed a few of these from different um, like YouTube channels and organizations I've followed for a while. I think like a really big inspiration for the both of us at least was, uh, you probably know what I'm going to say. Yeah. Extra Life uh, from Rooster Teeth. Yeah, absolutely, every year they 100%. Do, uh, I w- I've watched that every year for about five years now, and it's it's been somewhere where I'm like, I kind of want to do something like that. And now that we have the pl- we had the platform, I think we had grown enough to where it was plausible to do something where we could make an impact. And we did, and that was really, really awesome and cool to see that we were actually able to do something. But when we went into this, it was more of like, yeah, we'll do it. And then the studio came together, and it looked really cool and looked awesome, the new studio, like, looked right for what we were trying to do and the technology came together the organizations came together where we were meeting with the actual organization we were fundraising with where we met with the special olympics they gave us stuff they're giving us support they're giving us a bunch of different stuff and helping us out and then joe b came and helped with the technology and helped us get all the stuff prepared everybody was on page we had these segments planned out and even if we fundraised a hundred bucks we still felt like we were doing something Like, giving us a a base platform, or not base platform, but, like, a base to grow from for years to come. Because I I genuinely plan to do this absolutely every every year year, as long as we're still doing the podcast. As long as it's still possible for both of our our schedules and our live situations, whatever's going on. Um, And And you guys blew blew it out of the (laughs) fucking water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, We did a really good job, honestly. It was... I was like you. You started cra- you started uh, tearing up at the end. I'm not gonna luckily lie. you had goggles. I on, was gonna say I did. I, I a few tears rolled down my face, yeah. but they got caught by the I think ski if, goggles. That I, had I on. think I think if we had to do that whole spiel at the end, because we didn't know if you were gonna come back, we didn't know how how long it would. We take. didn't know how deep peanut butter you needed to be or not, or how long deep peanut buttering you would take. Me? We thought it was gonna take longer. You came down and I well, was shocked. Shane, r- shout out roommate Shane yeah. for um. One, he scared the fuck out of me because I thought it was a uh, poity friend of the podcast coming up with the broom to come brush me off, brush the peanut butter off me. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. They just kind of, for whatever reason, when he said my name, it sounded like poity. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, yeah, come in. He's like, all right, just uh, I'm opening the curtain. You ready? And uh, I kind of turned around. And I was like, yeah, go for it. Open it up. And I turned my head and I was like, oh, you're not poity. He's like, <laughs> no, but I got a broom. We're going to broom you off. And I was like, <laughs> I was like. All right. Starts doing it. It worked it, so fucking yeah, well. Yeah, so you came down. We did a little goodbye speech almost just in case you couldn't come back. And that was where we kind of got all the heartfelt shit out. I had my own, like, single solo speech. Yeah, and then I was able to do and then we were able to kind of do a send-off. But where was I going with this? Our brains are probably functioning about, like, 6% tonight. So <laughs> forgive us if we're all over. We're going to try yeah, to the stay the equivalent on. to the amount of candle that I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I am percent functional as I am percent candle. Um, One. <laughs> it was just really, really awesome for us to have such a big start. The amount of people who came in, like, we had, I don't know if we had a count of how many total people in studio, but I'd say it's probably well over 20, 25, 30. I don't know. I don't know if I'd go to 20. I'd say between 15 and 20. Yeah, I think that's about right. Like, the the amount of people who are coming into support and they came. I and think visited. we had 11 or 12 people at one time. We did. Between <laughs> the hours of, of midnight and 1 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of people. That here. was a. I think. That I think that's what was st- reckless. It I think was. that's the hour that started off our energy through the night. So yes. so let's start at the beginning. I don't know. Let's start I off. I think the character creation for Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> literally <laughs> just <laughs> amped. How many of us were there? Was there six seven? or seven of, seven of us? Seven of us, not including me. No, there were six of us and then me. Yeah. Seven, seven including you seven. and then the two wives. Then, yeah. On a tiny a, table. <laughs> that was a tiny ass table. Hey, we got it done. We yeah, got we shit did. done on that table. We so, got shit done. <laughs> So the day came, like, shout out to Joe B, because Joe B came and he helped us get, he, we have this big light now in here that he kind of gave us to use for the day. He gave us a ton of stuff with, like, capture cards and helped us get a bunch of the OBS stuff set up. So huge shout out to Joe B. Seriously. We have a bunch of huge shout outs throughout the episode, but he really helped us get the, 
the setup going to where we were able to put on a full like professional level production. broadcast in yeah. production and that's something that it's not in our in our cards usually we don't usually have something it's, like that it's where not something this was that a we've full ever attempted either exactly it's never something we've done it was a full production that was put on by us with different uh, videos and different. We had different templates set up. We were able to show the the Xbox. Uh, we had the the uh, the, the break videos, video, and the break the, uh, videos, not, and, not the and, break like the filler video. Yeah, where the, it was showing the 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 cause of the Special Olympics New Hampshire, the people that it affected. Uh, it had the different hosts, different Jack Black. Team members. It had Jack Black. <laughs> uh, it was it was. I feel I feel bad that I couldn't have done as much, but I also don't feel bad because I got punished more than anyone. I think. Well, to be fair, you now get to elbow drop me through a table off a ladder. I don't know when we'll be able to get that done. That might be. Uh, it might be a bit, but it's coming. I have a request. So yeah. if you just trust one of you guys on Bills gear. Yeah. And just yeah. Do Bills mafia style. Yeah. Can you get us ten dollars? Oh, you damn right. All right, $10. cool. Yeah. If you get ten dollars, <laughs> we'll put. We'll, right. If you can get us ten dollars in Bills mafia gear, we'll. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of Bills mafia. There you gear. go. It's <laughs> done, Taylor. It's just like fucking done. I don't even need need ten dollars. Gone. Just for you, we'll do it. Say less. We're all gonna be drunk. Dude, I'll Dude, fucking okay. Stone Cold Steve Austin two Bud Lights. Let's go. Down with it. I'm so Oh, down. and then Cost. jump? Hell yeah. Make it better so, than Buffalo. Dude. Yeah, it was really cool to just be able to put on this full broadcast. That's what I was most nervous about because the PC, there's so much that can go wrong, especially in this small space where pretty much at the doorway where we had 30 people in and out all day, we have six wires that at any point if someone makes one wrong step, it would shut down the whole thing because yep. it would unplug the computer. It could unplug some random cords that we don't know about, like... Anything could have gone wrong, and luckily we're in this fucking ice den of a basement. We didn't even need a fan nope. on the computer. Was... That shit didn't overheat once. Our camera, it started to get hot, but it would have been melting if we weren't in a room that's like 55 degrees. Yeah. Luckily for me, I had like slippers on, big wool socks, sweatpants, sweatshirt at all times. I was toasty the whole time. Everyone who came in there, dude, I'm fucking yeah, I freezing. freezing. <laughs> like, I don't know how. I, I don't was know, pretty cold too. I don't know how cold it is in here. Like, what, 52? Like, <laughs> it was cold. Dude, it it's, it's, cold. it's probably, I think it might be the chair. This chair, chair is warm as fuck. Yeah. The chair is not warm. No, no, that was, I feel that. I yes. sat in that one. I wrapped myself in a blanket. Yes. And people were like, why is he wearing a toga? Oh, man, that shit was cold as shit, man. The only thing that kept me warm yesterday was just being able to be loud as shit and then talking over and over again, keep walking around. Other than that, I've been cold. It, I think another part of why it wasn't so cold between, uh, like, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, what time did we end? Like, 5? Let's get, we'll get five. to that. We'll, we'll, we'll cover the beginning. But uh, it was just because... There were seven of us there was a lot of that close around. together. Yeah. That's true. And laughing, talking, having a good time. But. Yeah, so we'll, we're going to cover the whole stream now. Um, before we get into that, uh, our top donor of the night was roommate Shane. He came in at the end of the night. He was away for the day and was able to show up pretty much near the end. And he came in and goes, how much you need for your goal? And I was like, "Uh, one 190. And he dropped 190 on the spot, said, Get fucking married. <laughs> um, pretty good. So with that, we're gonna we're gonna plug his shit for the next month or so. Um, so thank you so much, Shane, for donating to the cause and going above and beyond. You didn't need to do that, and we're we're glad to uh, have you on Team Plunge here and have you in house. Um, Seriously, so what you guys can do is go check out SVL Home Improvements. It is his own veteran owned. Um, construction company land uh landscaping construction home improvement home repairs um many any type of thing if you need something do, new done in your house he can do it for you from anywhere from new floors to drywall to house repair to i think he does framing and stuff too so go check out svl home improvements i don't know his website yet but we're gonna figure that out you can contact him if you have a job you need done this is in the local new hampshire area um we can also put all this information in yeah we'll put his info in the the links but he does great work you can go to his facebook page it's svl home improvements i believe they have an instagram as well as svl home improvements and you can call them text them or inquire at 603-264-5624 again that's 603-264-5624 svl home improvements go check them out so the stream started i was feeling good for most of the time i felt pretty do the first like that's the thing I think like we just chatted the first couple hours. So yeah, we did the first two hours. We did just uh, an excited opening, like a welcome. Uh, just we. I think, I think no, we just called mind. it opening ceremony. I was gonna say the first like couple hours was just crazy donations. Yeah. That like, was the constant thing. Constant donations. Exactly. So we started off right away, and I think we had Kyle in studio. He was here with us. I think we had Will Taylor came in near the butt end of the opening, like yep. two hours, 
And it was just good vibes. Everyone was here. And then within 15 minutes. So the first two hours we were doing a company. We were doing a match. Company. A company we're match. We're an LLC, a limited liability company. Do I get points for knowing what that means? Kind of, yeah. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> um, pretty much over the past year, we've accumulated money in the bin bin. I think it was 320 left. Pretty much, uh, I think we took 50 for registration for each of the three of us. Um, so left over. So uh, we had 470, which is surprising, actually. Um, from just over the year of bin bin donations and fuck ups, and from that we did the first two hours of match, and you guys milked us dry. <laughs> About fully give or take thirty five to forty minutes in. Wow. So we had six hundred dollars in the first hour, for, hour, yeah. hour and a half. Pretty much, we we set our milestones up, thinking maybe, maybe. We'll get to Peanut Butter Baby. Yeah. And that was we what, 600? Peanut Butter Baby was a stretch goal for us. We didn't think we'd get there. We'd be like, maybe if so, the right things happen, we'll get to Peanut Butter Baby. It was 500. 500. What, realistically, uh, what did you think we would make beforehand like at before, the end of the night? Like before we started. Matching, without, before we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $400 at most? Yeah. All right, I'm I'm in the same ballpark. I thought three fifty to five. My real life, like I was telling uh, multiple people who were asking me like ab about what we had been doing and like why we we're doing it. I was like, we did the, uh, we did uh, yada yada yada. But I, like I was genuinely only expecting to raise about four hundred extra dollars. Yeah, I was blown the fuck away. The fact that we had. Five hundred dollars. They just, in the start, first they just hour. started adding up too. Like it, we didn't have any huge ones early on. Our, our biggest donations were from uh, the hashtag No Offense Show podcast, New Hampshire, and roommate Shane, and those didn't come till a bit later on. So, like the first ones was Chris, just Chris fucked with us because it came out of no. Like this motherfucker <laughs> sent a hundred dollars in from the goddamn parking lot. <laughs> Uh, so we we prompt. I got the the ham horn app, which promptly every time we got a decent donation was. Ha, I need some oh, <laughs> what does that say? I was making ha, my own sound I just needed effects. Some with some bop in it. I was making my own my own horns. <laughs> so we were hitting y'all with one of those every time we had a decent donation, and that shit just kept going. Yeah, it just kept going off. It just kept fucking going. We were really blown. It was at that point. I think about an hour in. When our match screen said like six hundred fifty dollars, so on our screen we had the we had the donation, uh, our goal milestone, like a goal, I think it's a goal tracker. Yeah, it yeah. said it started the night at zero out of fifteen hundred. We set fifteen hundred as a <laughs> yeah okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it was there just to be there, and like we had the wedding at one thousand four hundred twenty dollars, but that was like, yeah, like that's not gonna. Happen. I literally was like. It's not gonna happen. We were talking. I had. I was putting up a stink. I, I. I hadn't even thought about it at all because I was just. Yeah. No. I was hopeful it would happen, but looking back, like leading up to, it, I was like, it's not really gonna happen. I don't think I really need to worry about this. By the fucking hour twenty two, twenty three, I was like, we're at thirteen hundred and ten dollars. I might that, have. We to weren't that far in. It, yeah, we, we were, were. We hit about seven hundred dollars. By the two hour mark, and then obviously, so it's very top heavy with these kind of things. No, I'm saying at hour oh, when 22. we actually got there, around, when we were yeah, actually yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. close. I was like, I'm gonna have to marry this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, by out by the end of the first block where we did our company match, you guys milked us dry. So you took all of our bin bin money. Yeah, you stole all our money. And yeah. gave it to charity. <laughs> the fuck? We were gonna do that, but you did it for us. Yep, and. Also, I'd like to make a point. So we have fifth. We gave money for fifty dollars to anyone who made a donation over fifty dollars. Wait, what? Hmm? Of fifty dollars <laughs> for sure. Sorry, that's my brain right now. Um, anyone who made a donation over fifty dollars, we're giving you guys a free exclusive plunge shirt. That's going to continue on. So uh, until the till the plunge, the uh, are we still plunge raising happens. money? Then we're still raising money. Huh, I did not know that. Yeah, I you've, been, you've was... been sending to people to other things in your post. You're like, go to support something, which is still good. Yeah. Go support something. But we're still fundraising. Oh, we are still accepting know. donations. If you know, if you saw the, the stream and you didn't have the thing, you didn't have the capabilities right now because of Christmas, but you really want to support it, we're still taking money in a month if maybe you have more money then. We're still accepting. That might be one of the biggest takeaways, I think, for this. 
I think next year we should work it into a different time slot so that it's yeah. not cl- this close to Christmas. Because yeah. it was, what, four days from Christmas? Yep, four wow. days from – three days from Christmas by the end. Three days yeah. from – yeah. Like we're recording – tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> st- I'm still blown away that we raised that much money at Absolutely. such a uh, – essentially, like, uh, for lack of a better word – Broke. A critical time yeah. in uh, holiday season. Especially because I think a lot of our audience, they're, they're – it's, you know, a lot of our friends and stuff and people in our age group who – you know, just don't have that kind of money to give away right now. Yeah, like and still paycheck to paycheck type I stuff. Mean, and it doesn't or it's even... parents. A lot of parent, like a lot of our buddies in podcasting, they're parents who they got young kids and they got to buy stuff for. And the fact that they were able to donate right now and help us out. So, and every, well, even... we're very content. But if you guys do want to donate going forward, we, our link's still open. Our Venmos are still open. If you want to donate to it, um, let us know. You can donate me or Hunter. I'm at Riley. I don't know if I've set mine up yet. I still need to. Okay, I'm Riley Dash Trudell on Venmo. If you just want to Venmo I'm to Hunter save Dash yourself, Marku on Venmo. Yeah. So if you want to save your, I think there's a. What's your Venmo, Taylor? <laughs> Taylor Jackson Oh, okay. He's don't. just gonna take your money and yeah. bet on the bills, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, put on the bills, he bro. won't give it to the kids. Yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe maybe some kids at the hospital, but mostly the bills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like they, they made it more. Let's yeah. Be yeah, honestly, you're right. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys, if now's just not the right time for your bank, and you do want to donate, we are still accepting up until the event on February second. Yeah, um, don't feel the need to. We are blown away. If you're if you were capable of. It'd be awesome, but we're just so happy that you guys were able to come out and support. I we th- had we had at least seven, six, seven people in. I was primarily on the YouTube chat yeah. for because we had a laptop open the whole time, just keeping up with the chat, and make sure the stream was up. We had about five to eight people at all times. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. You because you, cause you <laughs> were pr- pretty much watching it most during the D and D. Yeah, we had like seven people watching us yeah, at was, four in the morning. I was confused. I was like, "Why are you Shout watching us at four a.m. Hey. Yeah. in the morning? Like, what are you doing?" Shout out, lady friend Carly, for staying up from yeah, one really. to four, uh, yeah. watching and us play wrestling. Dungeons and Dragons and asking me questions yeah. over text. Yeah, no, we appreciate that. That's, that was that, that's some real that, love right there. That should be yeah. Me so the first hour, like, I was getting fucking emotional. I was like, "We're gonna actually." That was the point where I was like, "We're gonna actually do something here." I have to say. The most emotional point for me was after the live stream ended and you had gone to bed. Shane was <laughs> in his bed d- doing You whatever. mean it wasn't when we embraced in a romantic kiss covered in peanut butter? <laughs> I po- I posted a big meme about that Adam uh, – shout out yeah. Sam PC. Adam uh, Simmons. I couldn't remember his last name. I'm fried. Uh, he, he posted a, a picture of peanut butter baby and then a picture of me. And I posted that, and then, like, uh, I forget what else I posted, but it was just, like, uh, thank you for helping us reach our goal. Uh, even if uh, you didn't stop in or Yeah, donate. from anyone who was able to watch, share, whatever. Like, yeah, whatever. I just, I, It was just a thank you for whoever tuned in and whoever was kind of, like, watching from the sideline, watching everything go on, even if it wasn't even on any of the streamings, even if it was, like, through Snapchat or getting it shared with them. And I had um, I had four different people say, hey, I didn't even know that the live stream was going on or I couldn't find it, but I really want to donate. And I know it's not much, but it's really, really touching to me that you guys did that for such a good cause. Yeah. And I had I legitimately had tears rolling down my face because they're like it, it. Thank you so much for doing this and taking point on something that not a lot of people even think yeah. to do. Uh, on like I've almost gotten more like heartfelt. Like not to say they matter more because like they're all it's all Every, awesome. But if the, you like, donated from the people, one penny yeah, from the to people who donated five dollars, and you can tell like they're like I really want to contribute to this cause for this for you guys. And I, those were the one like those ones hit me the most where it was like wow man like people are good. <laughs> like, People, really people out there really genuinely people will always want to help their neighbor because at the end of the day like we're just some fucking idiots on we didn't do anything we legitimately didn't do anything we fucked up recording uh over the past how long year year and a half For a year and a half now. and pull put money in a jar <laughs> we got up to three maybe four hundred dollars yeah y'all raised eleven hundred fucking dollars uh so update this might go up if you've told if you tell those people now that they can still donate. Mm-hmm. Um, we've gotten some extra donations, and with our camera fuck up donations, pretty much we had a camera issue that it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a shitty part. We yeah. used we used a DSLR camera, which had great quality, um, but but they're not meant for that. They are not um, for that. So it had a live setting, which pretty much got to show everything, 
but the camera needed to be moved. Like, pretty much just a quick zoom in, zoom out. So if you ever noticed just a minuscule zoom and then immediate zoom out, that was us adjusting Making the camera. Making sure that the, it didn't start to go into, like, sleep mode or yeah. whatever. Yeah, and if that went off, if pretty much if it went into sleep mode and it, they caught us, if we just got went down on the camera for a few for a few seconds, we donated ten dollars. I think it probably happened more than ten times, but like I'm not going back to check. We have <laughs> written down. We had a counter, and we have three on there, so three. Three sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I with think that, we, had, we wrote some down that didn't count, some that did. Yes. Well, so the so another it, issue it was out. it's a DSLR and it was recording video, so battery life. Uh, we couldn't plug it into a record to a just straight source to keep it powered because it would fuck up the HDMI. Yep. So pretty much the two hour blocks were a saving grace. Yeah. Because the every batteries t- lasted about, about two hours. Well, they lasted about an hour and fifty five minutes. Yes, they would. So <laughs> pretty much right when we were about to wrap up each block, we would get the little you. It would blink uh, a little red like camera dying thing for yep. about a minute. I used. I loved. Every single person, because it wasn't just a single person for each block, who is like, battery. <laughs> yeah. Every the, single the time. Chat the chat was lit with I remember, the. I remember Carly texted you like 4 a.m. Like, was like, hey. I didn't even see. I wasn't looking yeah. at my phone. Tuba saw my phone and went, battery. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? And I was, I was, oh, I looked over at the screen. I was like, good shit, Tuba. Goes, yeah. Or the, the mics. <laughs> yeah. The mics. We would mute the mics when we went into break so we could break down pretty much, right. reset up, do whatever. And sometimes we would just forget to turn them back on <laughs> when we came back in. So the one that sticks out most that is one, our workout. That one our hurts workout my hour. fucking soul because it was so oh, fuck. goddamn funny. Hunters out. Cold. We'll, we'll get to it. But it, it was fun putting on a broadcast for those reasons of the learning the things and having the little tricks and stuff that we, we had to do behind the camera to keep it going and like I had to teach a, I teached a few people like little producer tricks for transitioning teached? in and out of stuff. Taught. Yeah, I'm teach them. Teach them. I'm, I'm with it. Yes, <laughs> I'm teach him. Teach them. Get teached it right. Dem. Teach them. Oh, so teach. where I was going with this with our camera fuck ups and with some late donations, uh, our final tally for the plunge first annual. I like to say Not that. Not the now. first o- annual. It's the inaugural. inaugural. The inaugural. Plunge 24 hour live stream is $1,550. That is incredible. That's fucking wild. That is incredible. And that, that, I'm going to consider any of your people if they do donate to that total because they were like, oh, yeah. I think I sent you like $10. You sent me $6 last night to say to even out the score because it was at (laughs) $1,500 and like $4. uh, I'm going to (laughs) say shout out Ben Clark because he, he, uh, he messaged me and he was like, hey, man, I, I, wanted to tune in but i've been traveling to go see family for christmas and i didn't get a chance to really watch much of it or i don't know i don't think he got to see any of it yeah because i think he was driving somewhere but he uh he was like i noticed uh like i did see the end screen where it was at like 1504 i think is what the end score was end screen it was, was 1506 1506 he sent four dollars, and he sent it with the message uh, to round out the number. Awesome. So I, I sent the thing. For yeah. Him. So thank you, Ben, for one reaching out and two donating. Uh, it, it, any amount that any of you donated means just as much to us as everybody because you all except we, except Chris. We so, like his hundred most. We do. Ah. What about? <laughs> <laughs> We may change it okay then with one eye people. I, d- I will say one of my favorite donations was when Bobby donated because we just did a straight minute of like. <laughs> 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 I don't think I was here for that. My favorite I wasn't, ex- was- I wasn't expecting that one either. That was just a random. It popped up in the app and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> my favorite donation might have been when Adam said. Si- oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> 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 what the roost? What the. <laughs> Wait, let me get my ham home. That being s- <laughs> <laughs> That being said, I think we need to get to the uh on topic. No, the personal favorite of mine, fucking D&D. <laughs> well, was- wait, we got before we get to that we have to hit whatever the fuck that hour was before D&D. Because right. no, that's I when you showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came like 
I came in like that. Taylor came in like a fucking wrecking ball. So, yeah, the he first. Got, well, that he started uh, let me while and out. Let me wrap up. <laughs> let me wrap up the opening because we hit every single milestone aside from the marriage. Like that one was kind of the end goal. We that wasn't another till. So pretty much we had one through seven hundred dollars as different milestones. We hit them at by the end of the first block. Yeah, we had every milestone done. And that kind of pissed me off. <laughs> I what thought, else did we have to do? Yeah, I was like, "Fuck, man, we got shit to do now." Like, <laughs> I remember during the fir- after the first break, Riley looked at me, he goes, "I'll get ready to get married." <laughs> He's like, "I was like, what are you talking about?" I was like, "That's all that's left." It's like that's it. That's all. Shloo! <laughs> I love that video. Bazinga! <laughs> he played. That sound clip <laughs> probably 25 times during WPLNG, the wake up morning show that we had. Oh, yeah, I got to watch. I was fucking sleeping. I was yeah. Cold out. Yeah. So we had. So what did we do at the end of the opening? I drank two and a half White Claws at 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Um. So we what did we do? We did the Blazing Challenge pretty yeah. much. Really? Is that really what? That we, was basically all we was, did at the beginning. Cause yeah. Because we, were cause we space had, them out. Oh, and we did. We. Oh. Shots. Body shots. Body shots. That was a running that. joke for the first, like, yes. the thing is, there's so many different areas of jokes and stuff that stayed uh, around. Like, we had the wigwam phase, wigwam. Hunter, wigwam. Hunter's wigwam. belly hair phase. Like. Black Taylor phase. Yeah, Black, Black Taylor never went away. Even when you left, there were still Black, yeah. Taylor, Black Taylor jokes <laughs> being fine. made. Yeah. Was, I don't know why, so yeah, but the, the first hour popped back up the second time we played clip, uh, Quiplash. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. Yeah. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I'm Who? fucking with it. I was like, is Black Taylor in the chat putting yeah. himself in? <laughs> so yeah, we ended the first thing with the Blazing Challenge. Will did not handle it well at all. No, he, he did, did not. not do well. He I think I was in game nice. mode. I was in. I was ready to. I was ready to go into fucking war. Yeah. I yeah. was ready for a battle of time. I'm fucking you leaving. Ate, you ate that shit, bro. You were just. You were just good. You were. Like, I was yeah, unfazed. You were like, what's question? What's question? Let's go yeah. at it. And I was like, Will, fucking unfazed. I was unfazed. Yeah. Unbothered. Yeah. They were like, oh, you dipped that shit in blue cheese for the last one. I was like, yeah, because blue cheese is delicious, and I want all the reason to eat it. I want you haven't let me use it on all my wings, so I'm using all of it on this last wing my for favorite, flavor. My favorite aspect of that is you guys were honestly not really enjoying the blazing wings. I kind of was. I didn't think it was that bad. I was just enjoying some nice parm guard. Yeah. <laughs> you were uh, you, you chicken were bites. I was like, yo, this is fucking lit. <laughs> I, was pretty, I was a pretty good parm guard. Yeah, it was pretty good parm guard. Did you have <laughs> one? Yeah, I did. Give me one again. I felt so bad for Will though, because Will was like choking and he was like sweat. I could see him. Visibly sweat, and I felt so Yeah, he was breaking. Bad. He was also really high. <laughs> Probably what it was. That was the funniest part was I told everyone before the stream, I was like, all right, guys, while we're being ourselves on this, we're going to try, like, no drugs, like, anything like that. If you're drinking, put it in a solo cup, which we broke near the end, but for the first 20 hours or so. Apple juice was pretty good. Everyone was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Apple so, juice pretty good. <laughs> and anytime we talked about being high, I was like, yeah, you, you were guy. <laughs> like, or like beer was apple juice. It was funny. Our, we tried to make it PG while we were also like, yeah, dick, dick, fuck, 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 come, come. Like, yeah, we also, we yeah. Like, what's the boundaries here? We dropped the N word one time, and I was like, that was you. That was you. No, Riley thought it was me. I thought that was Hunter. I was like, Hunter, what the fuck? I was like, he was like. That wasn't was me. Like, that wasn't me. That was him. He I got, remember saying, I guess, I guess it's okay for you to say it. I thought it was funny, though, because I said, I go, that wasn't me. It was him. And he goes, oh, he could say it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what the fuck? Um, it yeah, made so, me laugh, though. We went upstairs. I was like, can I say it? And he was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And then, say it around. <laughs> and he's, be careful. he's like, you can say it? I was like, nah, I'm going to save it. <laughs> like, I didn't even say it. I was yeah, just like, like yeah, I, I just, right it's like, uh. This is another version of, like, uh, the hunt is better than the kill. Like, I just wanted the permission yeah. to say it. I didn't actually want to say it. It's just the idea behind saying it is cool than what it actually is. <laughs> like, it really the, is cha- like that. That, the chase is better than – the hunt is better than the kill. The hunt's always better than the kill. Facts. But you know it's better than the hunt? The, the hunt. The stunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did also enjoy – we did 10 to midnight of just – Jackbox Quiplash, games. yeah, yeah. Quiplash that was a lot fun. of fun because with Quiplash we're able to play with the audience, and I think our percentage was fifty fifty during that span because we had a pretty active chat at the time, probably yeah. like ten people, and we had like four or five people from the audience who were just playing with us, and I thought that was really cool to like be able to compete with the audience and play with them. So 
our takeaway with that was just wigwams. Yeah, wig- wigwams. Wigwams was just a running joke. That was a funny I don't even remember. I came up with it, and I don't remember. It was, it was like, like, what's another name for, for testicles? testicles? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, really well. I was like, fucking wigwams, man. Put my wigwams. Someone in said a tent. something that was like, not really that funny. And then wigwams, which, in all honesty, not funny at fucking eh, all. It's got some funny letters but in fucking it. Fucking wigwams, yeah, dude. It was just great timing. I think we were just tired. Great timing. Yeah. They just hit, hit right time. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> just like the right Wig, Wigwams hit different. It really did. It really did. It'd be different. Big difference. Yeah, I, I kind of just enjoyed playing with the audience. I thought that was a cool factor that, like, we can open up the chat room and be like, all right, go join, motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, I thought what was cool was when we tried to have the whole chat just do it by themselves. That was pretty cool. Too. We that did one was of those also it was very with, funny. It was you, and then I think we had a... Four? I think we five. had seven. Was no, it was only it was, five. It was a four. I think so it was him it was and then five. four of the people. We're in the chat, and, and then we fun. got we got in the audience, like yeah. the rest yeah, of us. Got yeah, in the yeah, audience. we played as the audience. Yeah, we were, we were saying a go at it. Yeah, and that was Steve awesome. Was in there. That was Corey, right? Yeah, Corey. Steve. Corey was like, I was Steve and Keith. I was like, what? Why? <laughs> I can't remember the last one. Sorry. Didn't like, he yeah. win twice? Yeah, I think he did. Pissed me off. <laughs> Shout and out then, to the second time we played Jackbox games, and I won three different games in a row. <laughs> like, play, different, I like, I won Quiplash, I won Fibbage, and then I won Drawful. So, the Drawful one, I think I had a decent chance, and then I stopped playing for three rounds because I was doing some maintenance stuff for the, like, stream and the things, and I looked up, I was like, oh, I just missed three rounds. Oh, <laughs> there was one that I, I was, uh, what was it, Kettle Corn? Yes. I think only one person didn't get it. I got, like, 5,000 points yeah. for it. It was really? so oh good. God, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so the midnight we, hour. Also, we got to get moving on these topics because I have to leave in 30 minutes. Or yeah. 20, 27, uh, yeah. 17 minutes, excuse oh, me. Oh, sounds good. That's not happening. This? We'll try. But <laughs> Dude, I got to go. Like, we'll I have try. shit that I, no, I have to leave. Like, that's a hard cap at 17. You, well, can you better get like, fucking talking, big guy. You're the one fucking staying on the opening track. You are. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get going. Yeah, I'm fucking trying. You're the host. You're supposed to move it along. Yeah, every time I do, you're like, no, 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 but let's take a step well, back I thought to we were the going opening s- hour. I thought we were going step by step. You didn't say you had a time limit. Motherfucker, let's talk. So I'm ornery hour, huh? and tired. This is our first fight. Let us have it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> First spot is a married couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so here. I don't think we should say too much as much as I enjoyed pretty much it. the midnight hour got wild. We had eleven people in studio screaming about conspiracy theories and yeah. our pizza Taylor was not getting, arriving. He was giving us the lowdown on what it means to be uh, a gangster. No, spe- to gangster. speak your shit. Yeah, yes, speak your shit. Just you know, realistically, just be yourself. Don't anyone else fuck with you because listen. In all seriousness, always people try to fuck with you, and you just gotta let them understand that you're not the one. Yo, it's better be round two one. right here. No, I can't. It's gonna go <laughs> in 17 minutes, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you out. But all I gotta say is this, man: speak your just shit. Be who you are. You don't gotta change for nobody. If you are, if you are a nice person, and you wanna be nice, be nice all the time. But someone tries your shit, let them know. Let them know who you are. You're not the fucking one. That's all it is. I fuck with Black Taylor Ooh, so man. hard. BLT, baby. BLT. We got a comment. I think we should do IBLT. What? Independent Black Taylor? No, fucking inspirational. Inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone at the end, I think it was Joe B, said in the chat. He goes, he goes. My favorite non-plunge uh, PL uh, NPCs are bl- are BLT and and uh, R M Shane. R M Shane. This is the favorite n- plunge non-playable NPCs. I was like, what a great phrase. <laughs> Right. Is that the new team? Is the NPCs? Fucking <laughs> NPCs. No, I think t- Taylor's already uh, 18 plunge. Are you good to go? Oh, that's a fucking promotion, my Appreciate man. That's no, I un- gave it to him on the live stream oh, okay. because word, of, word, word. The, one, the amount of work you put into the campaign. And I like, two, yeah, like, the, Taylor, you're always invited back. Like, I, I like oh, you, you in the loop, that. man. Like, because we've had you in our, we've had a different group chat for our 24 uh, hour stream yeah. that you've been a part of. Yep. We'll and add I'm, you to the real deal plunge yeah. chat. Oh, thank you. I really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, eighteen baby. 18 Welcome. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck yeah. That's our first. He's. Are they our children? You're are the child? teams our children? Oh, stop. <laughs> Holy shit! Hold my hand. <laughs> You're on team right? firstborn. firstborn. We have. No, wait, are we John and Kate plus eight? Like we have like fourteen kids. That's the next TLC no, show. It's just uh, us. We're uh, what is it? Eighteen kids and counting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Probably a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> that okay so moving forward yeah. after the hour of 
just Nonsense. fucking power. Mm-hmm. I I I will say, I don't think that I want to say too much about it because I think we should release the entire. campaign I think we're gonna as release episode, the whole campaign, and I don't want to spoil anything for yeah. those who didn't watch. So that was again, that'll probably be so the first fun. thing we release is bonus content. Yeah, and that'll probably come out it's like Saturday or something. Um, or... I'm gonna go on next week. I don't know what our release schedule is, but I do think it'll be uh, Tuesday's plunge, and then we're gonna start releasing some bonus content. If, I um, think the on only Saturdays. thing we should give about it is one. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, it ELT was, was a great dungeon master and kind of just let us do I, our thing. So I think Holy. it was the perfect description of the plunge playing D and D. Yeah, really picture cool. the plunge and picture D and D. It's off the rails. Yeah. It had no structure or format Correct. yet. Yet had structure and format. <laughs> it was all over the fucking place, yet somehow ended. Yeah. <laughs> all, had an ending. All, <laughs> all I want to ask for the rest of this, I, I don't want to give anything away, yeah. but I do want to give them an idea of what the campaign is about. So if you want to give them like a little teaser description. Yeah. Yeah, you have one you, minute. Yeah, you no, wrote no. all of it. I'll, I'll yeah, add huge, like another 20 huge, minutes. I'll stay for like... 20 30 minutes okay, okay. yeah but no, uh, like huge pr- i think we should just use this not to talk about the campaign but thank you taylor for seriously coming out because you're you've played yeah I've but you're not that. like huge you've never done a you've never been a dm correct so dm is a dungeon master probably out there it's yeah. the person who's pretty much god in D. pretty much yeah um so yeah you i love that i i towards the end i picked up that you were just <laughs> arbor arbitrarily <laughs> picking numbers you're like roll this yeah, you're <laughs> I was like, like, fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like yeah like, at, the, at, at the same time because like no because usually in dungeon masters you have a set thing of like you're this is your level you're allowed to do this you have to roll a certain number for that to hit for that luck to happen after a while i was kind of like you know what this is a made-up fucking thing yeah you know what i'm gonna let them have it because sometimes i'll be like oh they didn't get the number i wanted to but i'll still give them something to make the story go by faster. there was yeah. one point where me and hunter about 10 minutes apart had something completely <laughs> fucking absurd, yes. but it was like one person. It was one percent plausible. Like, okay, I guess that could happen. <laughs> and you were like, and you were like, just roll, just thinking we'll roll like any, like anything below like an a nineteen. Roll the <laughs> fucking nat twenty. Yeah, we rolled twenties, and you were like, well, I guess we're building the fucking wall. <laughs> No, legit. I, think yeah. I was just like, ah, it won't get shit. 20s. I'm like, yeah, fucking, they got a fucking wall. Mine was fucking dead because I asked him about it if it would have affected the story, and he just goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, I can't remember something, but you're just like, you look at me like, yeah, man, so. Did anything I do here matter? And I was just like, absolutely fucking not. But why the fuck? I was like, you, want? you were just like, but you rolled a fucking 20. Yeah, the God points were, the parts that were my favorite were the ones where. There were six of us, and there were some points where we were so fucking <laughs> oblivious to you trying to just yes. shove us yes. in the right yes. direction. Yes. You being like, well, Hunter's out there all alone, <laughs> and maybe one of you guys can go get him. We're like, we're going to leave him out there. Yeah. We're good. We're going to keep shooting this one guy <laughs> with a fucking arrow. Yeah. Like, yeah, but Hunter's all right, chilling well, there. The, the only, the, to, to wrap up the yeah. whole section, because I genuinely think that we shouldn't ruin the yeah, experience yeah, yeah. for anybody going to listen teaser, to it in the yeah. future. A little taste. The, I think the pinnacle was uh, my dead mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at it. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it truly was picture plunge doing D and D. It's exactly as you'd imagine, and it's off the rails. And it was one of my favorite times of the whole stream. It felt legitimately felt like like an hour, an hour. And a half. like an hour, yeah, hour and it really a half. Really did. I, I was checking the phone because so pretty much we saved the D and D for our overnight shift. We know we needed something that was about four or five hours that would kind of be continuous. Like we're not going to play Monopoly on stream. Oh. Um, that but we need sucked. we needed that something awful. that was continuous, not like talking segments. We needed something to keep us engaged overnight. And I looked down at my clock at one point. It was like four thirty. Yes. I thought it was like two. I the only reason I knew when it got to about three thirty a.m. because <laughs> the camera died and we had to go flop it. Out. Because Tuba said camera, and then he goes, "No, someone texted you on your phone." And I looked down. I was like. It's fucking three thirty yeah. in the morning. Yeah. I was like, "Who is still up watching us?" Yeah, yeah I kept the, they kept checking the chat. I, I, I think the lowest it got to was three, and then immediately went to five. Like immediately after. Yeah, like, it was like so quick. Yeah, we had like six people in the chat, and that was just on YouTube. I looked at our twit our Twitter numbers this morning. We had seven hundred different people tune in. Wow, damn on Twitter. That's wow. wild. That's wild. Um, yeah, it was nuts. 
Yeah, we dropped zero frames. I don't know if I've told you yet. We dropped zero frames. Other the than when we got stream. canceled at the end by uh, <laughs> YouTube. Canceled, really? YouTube took us down at hour twenty three in like twenty minutes. Because yeah, so because Twitch think... didn't take us down, and I don't think Twitter did either. I think we stayed up on those. So did you... we hit the hard cap for YouTube? And YouTube just got turned down. No, they pulled us down. I guess Corey said like, yeah, don't donate to ISIS. <laughs> no, he said he accidentally said donate to ISIS, and they went, no, don't donate to ISIS. I don't and, know what oh, jokes they were making, and then I guess five minutes later we were down. It could have small chance it included your nipples, but I think Twitch is the one with the no, no nipples, because right? YouTube twi- nipples I came, are allowed. I came down and my nipples covered. were yeah, already yeah, yeah. covered because I had peanut butter. Well, maybe on. they thought you had really weird looking nips. But, <laughs> Probably did. But I don't think YouTube has the no nipple rule. I think it's Twitch. So Twitch definitely does. I yeah. thought you said YouTube does as well. I'm not but. sure on YouTube because like they have well, swimming the videos and now, stuff, you know. Read the nipples. Swimming videos. Yeah, you know yeah, swimming that's not videos. A live stream, dumb. That's dumb, true. Dumb. So YouTube took yeah YouTube took us down like 23 hours and 20 minutes in. We were just about to get married. You were just fully covered in peanut butter. We were ready to kick off the whole I was thing. Millie rocking. And then I look over and it auto started another video on our laptop. And I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" And then I got like five texts that was like, "Streams down, streams down, streams down." And I was like, "Oh no!" I so then I I went and I just hit. I hit uh, start broadcast. Yeah, I hit. Well, no, it was still going because it was still out to Twitch. You hit and stop stuff. and then I just hit stop and it. then hit start again, and we went back up. And I went on a fucking tirade, dude. I literally felt like Baby Yoda because the entire time you were going off, I was just Millie rocking and in peanut butter, money dancing <laughs> and with peanut butter, hitting the bop and fucking cat daddying, dude. I it was know. literally twenty minutes of being like, I "You got- can't keep us down. <laughs> we're back. We ain't going twenty three hours." In 20 minutes, just to not finish this shit. My favorite, the only thing I said in the entire thing was I went, Riley, hand me the mic. And he put it in front of my face and I just went, I ain't fucking leaving. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was D&D Dust Plunge. Yeah. Yep. It was great, a true masterpiece. We had Kyle. R- Seriously. Can we tell the Ryan thing real quick? The Ryan thing is. I don't so think we told good. this on the D and D segment. No, we didn't. Uh, we have a super. Let's just be real. We have a super hot stud like model esque friend do. who's sporty, not nerdy at all. Wicked but, nice guy, but, genuine kid, all around good dude. But plot twist, he's like a nerd at heart. Like he's he, like we've as our close like he friends, might we be know more this. nerdy than you and I. I'd say he's on par with us. We're pretty nerdy, but yes, he's he like he's up there with us. And he came over at around twelve forty, which was. We were wrapping up, you know, starting to get closed down to start going into D and D. Like people were already leaving to get their bathroom breaks, grab something to yeah. eat, grab something to drink. And he comes down with his girlfriend. They came. Black to- Taylor got his Domino's. Yeah, yeah, I'm so bad with Domino's. Yeah, fuck Domino's. Yeah, by the way. we'll get. <laughs> well, no, we, another we, time. We, yeah, we yeah. Move on. yeah. And he comes down with some like Dairy Queen, and he's like, "Hey guys, I'm just stopping in real quick. We we're in the area, and my mom wanted to make a donation, so here's some money. He gave us a donation." And then he sees we're playing D&D. No, he and, saw that we were setting yeah. up for D&D. Or and, one of us yeah. told him. And the so I think I might have been the closest person to it because when I was walking out of where we were recording, I had to squeeze between Ryan and Riley because Riley was going back in. He grabbed a piece of pizza and was heading back in to set up the table and everything. And I just remember I heard he was like uh, – he had like his arms crossed. He looked he kinda, defeated almost. He, no, he had his head no. down like a sad he, puppy. He had his hands crossed and his head down like an aw shucks kind of yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, Taylor, do you mind if like we stay and I, I play Dungeons and Dragons with the guys? Oh. <laughs> and I lo- I went upstairs because I, I think I was going it to the It makes it so much funnier. That it's at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. at all times. <laughs> like, it hey, was, do you mind if we stay here she had all fu- night? She had a fucking blizzard in her hand. Yeah. It was, yeah. like, ready to go. Yep. Yeah. And he was like, do you mind if we babe, stay here overnight and play and nerd play? games with my buddies? <laughs> yeah, I give her credit. She said it okay. Was so, she was so mad at the end. She I felt mad. so I, bad. I did, so, because it didn't last long to be, well, he said it wasn't like that long. But. Yeah. So the steam started to roll down near the end of D&D. You and me were rolling. Because I think we hit a point, we were almost on a high of, mm-hmm. like, we were just feeling it so much. We were so yeah. happy everything was going so good. The donations were the, in. We got to 4 a.m. seamlessly like it was nothing. We were yeah. kind of getting to a point where we're like, oh, shit, we're making some serious progress here. We were on a high note, and everyone else came crashing down. We did the boss fight. Everybody had to leave around yeah. 4.35-ish. 4.35. Yeah. yeah. 
And so you and me had about an hour and a half where until we, uh, Cole forgot. Yeah, here. so we turned we turned the camera off to give it pretty much the camera was gonna fucking melt if we didn't do this. We turned it off, put it like in a windowsill for an hour, and we just played Xbox and chatted for a bit because our energies were high. It was just us two in studio. Towards the end, it started to get a little tough because I, we were both fucking starving. Yeah, so that was the biggest problem. We had three people say they were gonna bring us breakfast. Not Cole, a single person. Not came. a single one did. Why not? Because okay, Colford came at about five thirty. So we to get went, ready for about yeah, six. Yeah, we did WPLNG the morning wake up show. We'll release that one for sure as a its own. That was when me and Hunter lost our shit. If he was talking, well, that was because I started drinking White Claws. So Hunter drank a bunch of White Claws at six a.m. because he was like, "This will help." Out of a fucking coffee cup. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> but interesting no one interest. brought us breakfast. Colfer so tried. Colfer tried. Duncan's was closed. Two people who were gonna bring him didn't, and then eventually Joe B showed up with coffee for us and in, Munchkins. In Munchkins, but that was like eleven. So that was <laughs> or ten, eleven. Yeah. So we didn't. That was when we really needed to like go hop in the shower to get some steam back. Yeah. Um, so we did WPLNG. That'll be released. It was our morning wake up show. Colford came in. He really he took over for a bit for us, so we didn't have to be the the main. I guys. thought it was funny. He legitimately like interviewed us for <laughs> almost what yeah, like two hour, hours, probably an hour. We we we, we did, did WPLNG a re- for two full hours. We did, but the first hour was about a recap with him almost. That's because he came true. in. He was like that. he was like, what do we got like. 200 bucks. He wasn't able to tune in for any of it. So he came in like, what do we got? Like 200 bucks? And I was like, yeah, something like that. I thought I and I think the number, it. I think the number was 855 at the time. So when we finally came back in, he just goes, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the th- I, I had a, 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 almost like an, I fucked up moment because I thought I ruined the, uh, the reveal to him because I was like, yeah, we shaved two. Cause we shaved two beard already. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. that was like, oh yeah, a we shaved two requirement. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he's like, I just remember he was like, "Don't worry, I know that's a, a milestone. I don't fucking know how much it's yeah. worth." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, just don't look at the computer screen, please. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he came in. We did WPLNG. We were both delirious for that. I think we were good when talked to, but so anytime he was talking to you, I, had to lay, I was in another world. I had my mic, but I laid flat because I my back hurt from sitting on uh, the bench without a back support yeah. for about five hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh. Yeah, your dad. My dad threatened, threatened you. Me. Well, you know what the thing is, we're married now. So yeah, his hate. dad threatened to take my uh, my name off the birthday board on, at their house, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> no way, homie." Well, he can't now because we're married. You're part of the family now. You are family now. Riley T M T Riley D M. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was good. We had a. Uh, I, I don't even think we should talk about the workout hour. Other than the, the workout fact- hour was just. I do want to get the clip of yeah. us just sock em bopping each other. We just went back and forth, full clocking each other no, in the face Riley with Hulk straight hands. up fucking bitch slap me because he's got <laughs> arms longer than me. And I don't like we were originally originally like punching like just the side of the head. And then Riley just went <laughs> and just with, fucking with pimp- a Hulk hand. With the, what? He j- oh, yeah, man, he just fucking better. pimp slapped me. I was like, yo, <laughs> what the fuck was that? The Hulk hand and he pimp was slap. Like, I didn't mean. He actually hit me pretty fucking yeah, hard. I didn't mean that one. Wow. Well, I meant to get you on the side of the face, but and you then, you turned a little bit. I think you were embracing the punch on this side. No, I was turning to look at the uh, the stream because yeah. I kept checking in on everything to make sure it yeah, was yeah. good. And it was one of the times I went to look, and then I just got bam, yeah. fucking pimp slapped in the schnoz. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And then to top it off. There's no sound. There on was it. no volume. We forgot to turn it back on. So we were dancing around like idiots. We had weights. We were doing weird push ups. Like we put weights in the air and did like the baby dances. <laughs> you like, might have been doing up. weird workouts. I was legitimately getting a pump. <laughs> yeah, Hunter actually got a workout. But it woke me up a lot. Like it was it did. I, I it actually did wake felt me up. good. But I did want to shower because I felt gross from the night yeah. and I kind of started sweating a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty much after that, Joe B showed up. He was the fucking savior of the day. He, he showed up legitimately with food. led the, the stream. For probably like four hours. Yeah. Yeah. So Joe B showed up of any pod. Go check him out. Any him pod and Davis. Will do. Him and Davis had a good yeah, like hour, good. two hour stretch where they, well, they held saved shit us. Down. They saved us because they came in and Joe had a newlywed game for us, which plot twist, we fucking murdered because we are the best couple in the world. <laughs> Um, yeah, we should I put wanna, that I out. Do wa- we shouldn't spoil that, but we should put that out on like Twitter or Instagram or yeah. something. Yeah, I want to go. I want to listen back to hear exactly how you said it because I can guarantee if we it overlay was, each other. Do you oh, want me to tell you how I did it? I know exactly how you did it. I don't need to hear it. I want to overlay it on each other to see if we even have the spacing identical. Like if we overlaid it, if you could even tell someone. That's, like, that's pretty fucking funny. So they Wait, came do you in, work tomorrow? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I was yeah. gonna say I'll. I will. Commit to staying late if you do that tonight. 
I'm not going to do that tonight. I got to get to bed tonight. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm going to leave in like 10 minutes. So yeah. So Joe B came in. He did the newlywed game. Pretty much it was a way for us to go shower. Okay. Yeah. Because he pr- he took one of us at a time, so we couldn't cheat mm-hmm. in interview. And us. like we left our phones in. Yeah. There. So oh, okay. we were able to. One of us had to go upstairs so that we wouldn't know what the other said. So really, we were able to go up shower like. Just refresh, and right. it was what we needed because that and was like, just that was at the away. halfway point because he came in at around eight or nine, so we were in the the back half now. Okay, and it was really what we needed to just. It was also a cool. Uh, I got to meet Joe B. He was one of the only people that I haven't met yet. Yeah, you have met more than the circle than most people. The, I think the only person I haven't it's met Kaz. is Kaz and Century. Like, have, you haven't met Chris. No, I haven't met Chris or the Duchess. I so. should meet him at the Super Duper. You Bowl. will, yeah. If I can go. Yeah. That's still pending. I'm not entirely sure if I can make it yet. but that's, You got to make it for the plunge. That's all. Uh, yeah. I could probably go that Friday, and then I'd have to leave, like, Sunday morning. Like, for I what? wouldn't stay for the Super Bowl. No. We're, the plunge is on Super Bowl Sunday. The penguin plunge. The thing oh. we just donated, fundraised. So, if I go, we would be back in New Hampshire on Sunday anyways? Yeah. I can definitely go then. Oh, yeah. We're gonna leave Saturday it's night. It's gonna be another twenty four hour thing where we're just uh, busy. like a trip from last summer. It's I told I already told Adam we're gonna leave earlier than last time. We're not staying till midnight because they have San PC two hundred. We're gonna get into that next week. I think we don't need we don't That's have time to cover week. this. Uh, um, but yeah, we're gonna be down there. Um, Joe B came in, saved the day. Almy came in, and Dave, brought us chicken yeah. Nuggets. Davis came. Uh, Almy came. We did. Yeah, he brought chicken nuggets for us. Made to eat. macaroni. We didn't eat real food for did. like twenty six hours. No, because and the we we ate sub that I ate at whatever Grand Slam. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, we had Domino's pizza twice because Corey also oh, brought yeah. Domino's right, pizza. Here, he here. came in. He's like, I brought you pizza. I was like, oh, this motherfucker brings Domino's, <laughs> and he shows up with fucking Domino's. It was funny. I was in the shower. <laughs> Uh, that was when I was actually shower number two. shitting. Yeah, that was when I was shitting out uh, yeah. stomach acid, and then I got and sat in the shower because I was like, I just don't know what's happening in my life right now. <laughs> and then I step out, and Corey's there. He's like, what are you doing up here? And I was like, what are you doing here in general? Because <laughs> I didn't know he was coming. Right. Yeah, so throughout the next day, we did some of our challenges. Uh, we got waxed. You can see a nice lack. Oh, I haven't even checked on my tummy. Oh, yeah, we got here. Nothing. Uh, I think I have some up boob ones. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you yep, do. just missing hair all over my body. Um, I have it on my legs, but I, I can't take my pants off right yeah, now. Yeah, tight pant boy. Tight pants. Yeah. Um, Hunter did the one chip challenge. That died. Sucked. I took a bite and it hurt. And that you, you took a very, well, yeah, like, you probably yeah, yeah. ate an eighth a of bite, you and yeah, Davis probably an ate eight. an eighth of what I ate, and yeah. it was fucking bad for me. Yeah, it sucked. Uh, it sucked until 1 and p.m. Then, today. A well, day to after be fair, when Brad, so Brad from BB and J, pretty much the cast of BB and J Sports came in and hung out for, with us from about three to five. Hey, and hashtag no free ads. Yeah, and we looked at we looked at the kid Brad, one of their hosts, and we said, "Hey man, you ever heard of the one chip challenge?" He goes, "No, I haven't." <laughs> and I like, go, "You want to try?" He's I like, literally yeah. go, "Hey man, tr- eat this." And he goes. Okay, and he puts it in his mouth and he just lets it sit. Yeah, he this thing start... has one of the higher Scoville counts. It I've has ever like seen. six million Scoville units or four million Scoville units. Yeah. It's and he just the put... hottest natural pepper in the world. He wow. just put it in his mouth. He didn't start chewing. He was me like, and Riley... he was like, let's see what this tastes like. What's the flavor? And then me and Hunter look. We both of our jaws drop and, we... and almost at the same time. I think I was a little bit before yeah. you because we I just was go, like, we go. You need to fucking. I think we said the I same think, exact I was thing. Like, I think you should probably start chewing that pretty yeah, I was quickly. Like, you need to fucking chew, dude. Go chew now, like chew. And he then literally he, went. Yeah, and he then he looks with an open mouth because you could see the heat just hits him eyes wide, and he just like <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> swallows it, and he was in pain for a while. That was pretty oh, fucking. He ate like an entire pizza, just yeah, to, just, just to, to like cool pull it down. Yeah. yeah, I give him credit for that though. The yeah. butter, butter was honestly the move because uh, Domino's got that butter crust, garlic Ooh. butter crust. Ooh. Oh yeah, that was probably good. Yeah, so fucking good up. move. Yeah. Uh, what else happened in the afternoon? Mm. Honestly, honestly, I was pretty out of it. It was until... pretty chill. We had a lot of people in, so they were kind of hanging out. It was helping the was... flow go because we had just tons of people in studio for the last bit. Um, Corey and Sh- Shane came home, so he Shane was hanging out home. with us for the rest of the night. And we then... played a lot of WWE and stuff, and then. We did uh, Will Nye the Science High, which I don't that think... Was a, that was a pretty big failure. Yeah. yeah. That was a pretty big failure. Other than we were, tricking him with the uh, the Dawn dish soap. That was soap, pretty good. Soap and pepper and water. So the trick is, like, it's it's a magic trick per se, but what you do is you, you take a bowl of water and you put uh, pepper in it, mm-hmm. and then you uh, 
you secretly put dish soap on one finger and then have nothing on your other and you're like look like i i can poke the water and like some pepper comes out but like i like just try like see what i'm talking about and they're like but i don't understand why when i put my other finger and because uh Soap is nonpolar and it'll sit on top of mm-hmm. the water. It it creates like a ripple effect where it pushes all of the pepper away. Oh. So I did that and Will was like, Wow <laughs> <laughs> And that was that was pretty much the only success. Yeah, I did it, it like two or three times. And yeah, I, we I, failed I pretty hard on that. It. I'll be honest. I think at that point we had just hit fifteen hundred and I don't no, think we, we hadn't hit fifteen hundred yet. <laughs> We hit oh, it, yeah, we we hit it after did. an experiment, after we did the bags, and I don't think we just didn't want anything to do with it. I think we were ready to get ev- – the fans were demanding it. They wanted the wedding. They wanted peanut no, butter. No, they hunt. wanted peanut butter. Everybody wanted peanut butter, baby. <laughs> All right, so we got to we gotta talk about the peanut butter, baby, because yeah. it was – every that, photo – I think that was the second hi- – or honestly, just as big as fucking D&D. Yeah, peanut butter, baby, hunter. I'll bite a short life – yeah, it was very short. A short lived moment was one we're gonna remember. The f- I saw pictures it was great. Yeah, so great. dude, I was slimy. The second we <laughs> it got was the fucking gross. The, fa- the I remembered I had those cheap goggles and I was like, holy shit, this is gonna be awesome. We went through the like World Series champion type goggles on them. We're like, you're spraying champagne. They have the ski mask goggles right. on. You looked like Guy Fieri if he fell into a bowl of no, peanut butter. No, I looked like, like was it uh, Justin Timberlake? Yeah, in the you kept Boys popping up and just going, the, it's, it's going to be May. May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had, I literally saw myself for a split second because I had someone take a picture of me and show me what I looked like, but I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I couldn't really see. I was like, dude, I'm fucking one of the Backstreet Boys. No, I can see it. No, I can yeah. <laughs> see it. I do see a little guy here and there, but you want his beard. No I feel one, that. I no feel one here is big. Listen, he couldn't touch the amount of flavor town you were producing. All yeah. right, dude. I was actually my roommate commented something really fucking funny on a photo of me as peanut butter baby that I put on my uh, Instagram. It said, uh, "Kid wears that smooth peanut butter like it's chunky." <laughs> <laughs> was like, that was really fucking funny. So pretty much, we lathered you up. It was so. It was one of the best moments of the plunge for me. As it was, it the was biggest just payoff. it was just you and me, peanut butter in love, and we had just raised all this money. Emotions were high. Like at this time, we were just like, it was starting to hit us what we had just done. It was almost over. We were really tired, but we were almost more energized than the start at that point. That we was were, probably the most energetic I felt because one, we were almost at the finish line, and two, I was covered in peanut butter, and I knew I was gonna have to get fucking scrubbed down. I felt like a duck in the oil spill. I know that's an off-taste joke, but... <laughs> well, you probably still felt feel like a duck in the oil spill. Are you still smooth as fuck? God, Do you feel... Really. You, you said you don't smell like it, but you still feel like you have, it's, like... I think it's more of a mental thing where I feel like I just have a thin film How did it of feel peanut butter. It when felt you were, good. Did it feel good when you were covered in peanut butter? Did you butter? feel how soft I was yes. after? Yes. It was magical. I don't know if that was from the peanut butter or Shane scrubbing me with a broom. Yeah, honestly, also you have way better you skin guys, than me. If I was you, I have that, perfect skin. I'd I don't be, have a single my face zit from would it. be so broken out right now with the amount of fats and shit and oil just rubbed all over me. I literally, off. yeah, I do not have a single zit from that. That's impressive. You know what I have? Fucking peanut butter all over my fucking house. Look Dude, up right now. Peanut butter on the roof. To be fair. I tried to be careful. I couldn't necessarily feel every part of me because the, I had a pretty thick layer. You of had a good, on me. you had a good millimeter of butter. But uh, <laughs> like, dude, I f- I'm pretty sure I saw parts that I left a little bit of a trail. I got. You know uh, what I was pissed about this morning? Peanut butter on the hat. I go. There was peanut butter on my hat. There's peanut butter on my glasses. That sucked. Oh, that's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. So I went to put my glasses on at work this morning, and I, or peanut no, butter. when I, I was in the dark getting ready for work. And I put them on my head, and I just go, ugh. <laughs> I go to take, I take my uh, stomach medicine this morning. Peanut butter. I fucking turn the the oh, turn the, the sink on, and it's just, so just squish. And I was like, oh, dude, I didn't God. even touch that. That was yeah, you. Peanut butter on the sink. That one was me. There's <laughs> peanut butter fucking everywhere though. There is probably. I kicked an outfit, like I kicked a shirt to try to like get something oh, out of the way. Just peanut, peanut butter. butter on my sock. I was like. That one's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Out of everything, peanut butter. Yeah, like I was like, I was like yeah. yeah, it's on the sock. That's fine. Yeah, peanut butter sock. Yes. There's just peanut butter everywhere. I was on my phone this morning, and peanut then butter. phone case, peanut butter. There's just peanut butter all over. Luck. You want to hear the best part about it for me? Yeah. After I showered, 
no peanut butter. I saw no peanut butter for the rest of the time I was in your house. Well, that was the thing. We went out for a drink and dinner afterwards to just celebrate. And I didn't shower yet, so I was covered in peanut butter on my neck and hair and beard because of That's you. That's pretty funny. I grabbed Pulling. his face, but uh, when we uh, all kissed, right, let's get to the wedding. Married. So the wedding, we did. I think we had to do the peanut butter justice, and we had to do the wedding justice. The people showed out, and we had to show up for them. Dave couldn't be there to give us a ceremony, so Adam Simmons gave us oh. a beautiful ceremony. I don't know if a lot of people really uh, understood what I was doing when I took Riley's hand. Oh, it was so gross. So he was fucking my hand with peanut butter. I was just much. rubbing peanut butter as deep into his skin he as He just I could. grabbed my hand. I had a mic because I was no, going to hold a mic for No, he wouldn't give me his hand at first, and I was like, hey, give me your hand, give me your hand. And he's like, no, no. And then I grabbed it, and he's like, well, there's peanut butter on it now. So he gave me his hand. Bad move. I he, with two hands, just started slathering me just <laughs> my whole so hand was just he was just funny. erotically rubbing my hand in but i was butter. looking at the camera i was yeah. looking at adam <laughs> yeah um yeah so adam did a beautiful ceremony for us he said dedicated uh, our to the ta- church of scientology yep, our tam pc motto is nine rings you know what the fuck it is and his final quote was nine rings has now turned to ten as these two beautiful men <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was something joined together in matrimony funny. it was so and good you went all in on for it. I was already annoyed with the hand. So he's like, oh, you may dude. now kiss your husbands. Thing, you grabbed me yeah, with two you, peanut butter hands. You were not ripped expecting me that in either. And <laughs> just came in for a big old kiss. And I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> At least you accepted it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't pucker up. It was oh. all me. It was oh. all me being like, oh. oh like the smush face. Oh. Oh. You ever get a pube on your tongue or, like, in your teeth? It's, where it's that face. That it's, face. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been on record saying I think you're gross. And you proved it right. I mean, I'm yeah. pretty sure that proves – I don't know why anyone would think that you're lying. Yeah. but <laughs> I think it could. Yeah, now, I mean, now they if know anyone, that you think I'm gross. But I think you're a great life partner, yeah. <laughs> and that's what matters most. Not the grossest for the mostest. Yeah, no, your, your grossest host with the with most. The most. Yeah, no, TM. Peanut um, butter baby. <laughs> Taylor, what did you what did you think of the whole thing? Any comments afterwards or anything? Like, yeah, no, I honestly want to solid this out real quick. I am so proud of you guys for what you did. Like, it's so you. incredible. Like, I was blown away. I had a twenty. Like, I really wanted to come back, but at two o'clock in the afternoon, I fell asleep and I could not. I could not move. I was so dead. And just for you guys to sit up for twenty four hours for somebody else's thing. Not many people say they can do that. Yeah. But I'm so happy. You I don't know. That. I think you were one of the most vital parts vital. of the entire live stream because well, the hardest block, keep in mind, that, me and Riley had already been awake for 12 plus five, 15 yeah. hours <laughs> because we had to work. Right. Or no, you just I woke know, up. Yeah, you had, had something to do. party and stuff. And I, I had to story. work. So we were already fucking gassed by the time that literally four hours turned into about one yeah. and we had so much energy at the end of it that we just rolled into the next day mm-hmm. like you ma- i think you made the best segment that wasn't like the big build up to peanut butter baby or the wedding because yeah. those were because like you were in, you were like, really in the non-donation hours and those are the ones that are hard to keep motivated for to get to the next one because really it's it's front and back heavy it's you get a lot up front and then you have you have some of the ones in between but you're getting the most of that beginning and the end you're getting right. the closing ones in the opening and to keep motivated and to keep something as fun and awesome and just the ability to pick everyone up like you did is something that's rare so that's why like the A team thing fully justified. Like I think that's <laughs> yeah, fully seriously. reasonable. That, like, I really, I as really long as you want to be that. involved in the plunge, you are yes, welcome here, yeah, man. Absolutely. I've been asking Dave for a while, and Dave, like, I've been trying to get you on, but I've been busy. And I said, no, it's, I understand. It's a really busy schedule, and you guys have other things doing. Yeah. Yeah. We've so we've okay. also in the past like two months, we've had uh, we've had to get a bunch of interviews out. It's right. been hectic with me being at school. Yeah. No, you're good. Don't even worry. About uh, additionally, uh, to go back to what you said. I appreciate that you're proud of us, but like I said before, I really don't think that we did anything crazy. We were the platform here to make everyone we, else. We were the the outlet for all of the incredible people who donated, supported, and shared to come together and uh, essentially put the donations into one place. We so have, that we, wasn't that wasn't us. That was all was, the people watching. We were donating. able to use our following and our platform to help out, and I think that's what. Like we're not ever looking to make, like this isn't our life. Like we're not make looking to make this our thing. But if we can get, we have this thing that we can give back with. I think that's the most important. And thing. at least spread a message exactly. of something that can benefit someone in such 
such an amazing way that we like making those videos that we played in the blocks. I was getting emotional because it was really the first look I had seen at what we were truly doing. Um, and like when I was making those videos, it really was when I started getting really passionate about this because I was like, wow, like I want to make a difference. And the fact that everyone came through and right. fucking did it for with us. something bigger than ourselves, yes. bigger than the plunge, bigger than podcast, New Hampshire. <laughs> it's it. To, it was probably the greatest plunge experience I've ever had. Yeah, yeah no, it was honestly amazing. And I'm so happy to be a part of that and just incredible to see the amount of donations happen in just one day it was unreal um 24 hours baby 24 hours 24 we'll say 25 like an hour after we got a bunch uh, 23 and 48 minutes (laughs) (laughs) five minutes they took us down you can't keep us down can't keep us down (laughs) also let me say shout out one roommate shane for buying one round of drinks for me and shout out riley for buying my other drink and my sandwich yeah they asked us afterwards they're like oh you guys are probably too tired to come out right and i was like i need a fuck beer man i didn't need, i was like i, I, I was need to in fucking eat something. yeah i was in one of those i was like i need a beer that doesn't also include me entertaining people mm, yeah that was that's really the hardest part of all this it's not being awake it's that we have to be awake and on yes. there's a certain persona that you have to put on for this and you you have to you have to talk like there has to be air there has to be noise say, has to, i probably was on for only about 19 out of 24 yeah, hours. There was a three-hour block I was hurting, and then a two-hour block My favorite block quote of the whole night was when you were in a blanket looking like a homeless child about an hour <laughs> after the chip. I think it was Chris Watsky. Someone said, and I quote, Hunter looks like a Make-A-Wish kid whose yeah. dream was to hang <laughs> out with Riley. Riley. No, you really <laughs> did. <laughs> you were bundled up in a little yeah. corner. Was like, just you were pale, like pale as fuck. The light was on you, you primarily, so you looked part? even more pale. Wasn't even cold in here. I was shivering from the chip. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that thing, shit. when I say it fucked me up. I can see the chip thing right there. It's right it there. It fucked me up. Yeah. Fuck, um, crazy. Yeah, we went through so many outfits, so many laughs, so many people, so many donations, so many just amazing things that went into this one. Genuinely just so many emotions. Yeah, like it from, was... from the bottom of our hearts, me and Hunter wanted to give back, and you guys came out in a way that – we hope to be able to bring back to you next year. We want to be able to we do, wanna do bigger it bigger and better. We want to do it bigger and better. We want to get it to next year. You we're, set the fucking bar, man. You set the bar pretty fucking high. And we appreciate all of you so I much. I appreciate you. I it, Shout out to the hunt. This shout out to sh- the T. This man shows the TM. Uh, this, <laughs> man, this man shows up. He does. I tell you to do something and you fucking do it. And no questions asked. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. Your post was literally like, yeah, I got covered in peanut butter for, and we raised this money. And you know what? I do it a hundred percent again every time. And I think that was, that was how we were feeling with it. It was like, I'm going to do this a million times if it means we can give back to this cause. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of you. I love you, brother. Or I love not brother anymore. That'd be uh, incestual. Uh, <laughs> that'd be on front page of Pornhub probably at this point with the brother way husbands, por- brother hus- husbands, brother husbands. Just go to Georgia. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we just took bromance to a new level. We also, actually oh, got married. Yeah, we really did. Oh, in, really yeah. Did. Anytime someone tells you they're more bro, they are bromance is stronger than ours. Like, be uh, like, yo, bro, are you fucking I'm, married? Fu- I am. Uh, what is it? Ceremoniously married to my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah, I haven't are. gotten a screenshot of us kissing yet. I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> I know it's gonna come out, and but. <laughs> so to put this back at you, I'm also really fucking proud of you because all of the prep, all of the. Uh, scripting of the video and laying out of the video, coming up with the forfeits, uh, coordinating everything and everyone to be coming in at this time, doing this thing, coordinating all the scene changes, the, the setting up the battery, yeah. the schedule for who's going to be doing even, doing like the, the movement of the camera. That shit was planned down to a fucking Riley T. Yeah. And M. I, <laughs> and it's something that blows me away because I could never do it. And without you doing that, this would not have gone as smoothly as it did. Would not have gone as smoothly, hands down, hands down. So, thank you for coming up with the idea and putting it on. Honestly, like I say, I just show up and do shit. And uh, we've been talking for like an hour and then 15 minutes, which I thought this was going to be a 20 minute episode yeah. because we just talked for 24 straight hours yeah, it was uh, about water. 24 hours ago. So <laughs> isn't that wild? It's been as long as we've been on air since we've talked. It's been the longest fucking day. I've been 
I'm ready to get the fuck out of your house, take my shit, and go home. I want to sleep in my own bed. I haven't even slept in my own fucking bed yet. <laughs> I was um, home for 30 minutes. Oof. So, yeah. You're um, welcome, kids. Guys, <laughs> from the bottom of our hearts, um, our eyes are low and our hearts are full. We're so happy to be a part of this community. Um, whether so that be the eyes are low or eyes are heavy. Our eyes are heavy and low. My eyes are dropping, motherfucker. My eyes are legitimately gray from he- like an inch. No. There's an inch gap of just gray droopy when i walked into work this morning at uh, 11 i think is i think i got there a few minutes late also somebody bought me uh duncan's this morning the person in front of me in the drive-thru bought my food i drank four large coffees today (laughs) but no i (laughs) walked i walked into work and my boss just asked me she's like are you okay i was like yeah i feel fine why she's like you don't look very you look pale and your eyes look purple and i was like well nice to see you too (laughs) yeah (laughs) haven't seen you in four months uh Glad to know you care. <laughs> yeah. Um, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Um, this has been one of the more amazing things I've... The people who have came up and they're like, guys, this is one of the most amazing I've ever felt, being able to be a part of this. Like, thanking us for some fucking reason. Like, like no, these people came out and helped contribute to this. And the fact that so many people feel so good about being included in something like this makes... It warms my fucking heart to just know that... We are able to touch the people involved, touch the people who this is going to affect and have a whole community, whether that be the Plunge listeners themselves, the the podcast NH people who came out and support, our friends and family, inner circle, of course, who were there in person and in the chat all 24 hours. Chris Wesky and Joe B slept on their couch so they could just throw that it on the TV. That shit made me laugh. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and the, like, just when we, uh, like, Chris or Joe B had been inactive long enough they're like oh they probably fell asleep and they're like, no i didn't motherfucker yeah. <laughs> yeah they're like man i'm just resting my eyes i'm here bitch <laughs> <laughs> they're like i'm on my couch and i'm here for it's like dude go the fuck to sleep like we appreciate but like i, 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 I but you. i relate to it so much because it's the same shit i used to do when i would watch these streams that inspired us is i would throw it on my like youtube on my xbox and i would throw it on my tv and like i'd go to bed but i'd wake up i'd turn over every two hours and i'd see someone i'd watch for five minutes i go back to bed but it's the same shit I did. It makes me happy to know that we were able to do that, put it out elsewhere, and have our own forum. And um, I just love all you guys so much. Yeah, and thank like, you, thank I you guys so much. Like I said, it's not like a a a good hey, time. Hey, look at us. We raised this much fucking money. We're better than you. It's just, <laughs> it's it's more of a personal achievement of we were able to put out a message and people responded positively and were so supportive and wanted to help the same cause that we did so much that we were able to raise a a shit ton of money for it yeah so for that i i could not be more grateful yeah we're we we can't thank you guys enough words won't be ever to be able to put it this is gonna be something we remember forever and until next year motherfuckers i hope this is just the start man i hope this is just the start of something so um Taylor, thank you for coming out and doing yeah, this little recap with us. You. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're excited to have you as part of the the, the plunge more often and more in the loop and stuff. Uh, and hopefully, uh, sometime soon, we can start uh, Dungeons and Dragons yeah. for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, I think I think it's going to be very well received. I think the fact that it, it I can't word it any better than is if you're a <laughs> listener of the plunge, you know what the plunge is, and this was. Plunge does D and D exactly as you'd imagine. What a hundred percent. Yes. Riley how fucking T is. Yes. That is and how good the segment is. <laughs> like legit, it was just and exactly. How I, I think it's going to be well received, and I think if it if it's well received, I think we're going to start a little D and D series. So that'd be fun to shit. Uh, <laughs> series, yeah, like, a little supplemental, little, like one campaign where it's like a decently long campaign. Yeah. we put out different parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so. Good. Taylor, thank you for joining us, and welcome thank to you. the Plunge family. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And I like that it's a family now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's our family. Yeah. There are you're our chill. I'm, yeah. Wait. Parents now. Who fucking cheated? Dude, I'm adopted. We can say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A- I, d- I just A- got I just got the joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's so, guys, funny. thank you for listening to this episode. We know it's not our normal plunge. We don't yeah, usually. It's not get... all goo. I mean, it is a little bit There's goofy, goo, but, but it's. Uh... This really meant a lot to us, and we wanted to get out a recap. We thought we were just going to put out like a twenty-minute thing to be like, "Hey, we're fucking tired." This is but more the fa- of a this really... thank you episode, I yeah. think, because it's warranted. You guys did so much for us. We can't we can't complain that we're tired because you guys fucking said so. That's yeah. really what it comes down to. Yeah. You said, "Fuck, you're tired." Here's some money and keep going yeah. and dance just, monkey dance dance yeah. monkey so dance. guys 
Thank you very much. Um, shout out, shout out to all communities tonight. All right, Seriously. shout out to the podcast community, all of our friends, everyone, everywhere. And Go to innercirclepn.com. More but than everywhere else. more than anything, shout out Special Olympics New yeah. Hampshire. You, everyone. I don't know if there's anyone there listening to us right now, but you all do an amazing thing yeah. for amazing people in us giving back is nothing to what i wish we could do yeah. for you so so to everyone out there have a have a happy holidays merry happy christmas holidays. Happy, happy kwanzaa, kwanzaa happy, happy hanukkah whatever the fuck the holidays you we celebrate did that in the same we were gonna do that in the same yeah, way that's I know. fucking funny <laughs> whatever holiday it is you celebrate i hope you guys have a very happy holiday with your friends family and if you guys are able to give we are still donating up until february 2nd so send us over if you want to do that if not that's fine. That's cool. Um, go check out the stream. It's on YouTube now permanently. Well, there will be two parts. There's the part that's 23 hours. <laughs> the part and that's 42 like, minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and like eight minutes. And well, to be fair, that last part is the, the best part. It's the wedding. It's it's the part, well, not the best part. It's the part everyone wanted. I will say that once we hit 730, you went upstairs. I was like, oh, shit. Everything's done. We got 30 minutes to kill now. <laughs> I know. I went up at like 715, 720. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I popped back down at what, 752? Yeah. So. I had guys, to, I was in the shower for 40 full minutes. 40 to 45 full minutes. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for donate, donating. Thank you for tuning in again twice yeah. in one week. Thanks. That's 25 and a half hours of plunge that some people will be listening to this week. Those poor souls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. uh, like I, like yeah. uh, Riley said, this, I'm I'm uh, the hunt. This is Riley. This is, is Riley this the, TM. Is this the last uh, episode of 2019? Uh, no, we're going to be having a New Year's Eve episode, I think. I think, uh, I think Tuesday... It, yeah, there there is one more episode. Okay, so we'll. I think we could do a decade wrap up. We could we could we'll do, do a decade. decade wrap we'll be up. back next week with a decade wrap up with the same old spot. Plunge. Number one, you already know, is going to go to the charity live stream. Yep. So uh, spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, thank you again. We'll be back with our same old antics next week. Have a fucking happy holidays, and we love you so much. Yeah. See you later, everybody. When you're oh. gay, every day is a nonstop cabaret. You've got style and flair, you're loved everywhere Except for North Carolina Bears and queens and Catholic tweens The world's your buff buffet Come and join in the fun, say hello to tight bonds And goodbye, vaginas Be gay, totally gay Be a bright and shining rainbow Yes, you'll find your new identity In the LGBT community Absolutely undeniably gay.